Hello friends, welcome back into the Golden Tea Lounge. Kevin Lindsay here, back for vacation. Less of a tan, more of a burn, but that is okay. And I'm excited to get back in the lounge and show off more Golden Tea PGA Tour 2022 content and courses. Right here, we are looking at TPC Potomac at Avanella Farms. This is a Maryland course not far from the nation's capital. Max Homa just won a little, a little bit more than a million dollars on Sunday at the Wells Fargo Championship. So congratulations to him on this exact course. Let's see what we can do here on Golden Tee PGA Tour. A Little bit of an outfit change. It's been a while. Trying to get back in the rhythm of things. But this course, if you guys had a chance to check out my nine hole preview from earlier last week, not a bad starting front nine. Couple of opportunities there to score if you've got the right wind and uh, tee and club situation. And let's see what we can do with a full round of 18. Now, something that you guys will read all about here in the next couple days is the UI change. We've talked about it a little bit before, um, but the biggest thing is that it is a little bit smaller golfer just like it was in PGA Tour 2021, a little bit bigger, more pronounced. UI is about 15% smaller, but still showing off exactly what players need to see and all the information you want going in to each and every hole. Now, the other note, big change is that for the first time, I think since like 1997, the nameplate and your score is not on the bottom, it is now on the top left. The hole and par information is on the top right. Name uh, banners, player banners, new for Golden Tee PGA Tour 2022. We've got some really cool ones. Those are going to be ones that you can access in the caddy and change. You can win some of them through competing on the club pass, just like you do now without even realizing it, playing Golden Tee, taking those Golden Tee points, turning them into XP, and unlocking more rewards for you guys. And then the idea is that we will have more uh, rare ones or one-offs for tournaments, world championship qualifiers, etc. over time. All right, here, hole five, good example. Do you high tee it? Or do I take the chance that I can actually power this enough to get some spin on the green? I'm going to do that because what ended up happening before is I had a couple of shots where I high teed it where I absolutely did not need the high tee. And that eagle putt opportunity turns into a missed chip opportunity for yours truly. So I wanted to make sure that I avoided that. Pull six, nice long par four. Got a little bit too comfortable with that shot there, but that's okay. We're in the rough, but we're not stuck. Now the other big change that we haven't talked about the UI is that you no longer see the height of the ball. You see the carry on the bottom lift uh, alongside the distance that you're sh hitting your shot. Oh, I'm just going to hit a hole in one here really quick. Uh, the line was decent. I just didn't hit it hard. Well, actually the line got better with that fringe hop, but no hole in one there yet. Ten after seven. A little bit different than what you might typically see on a course like this, but it is golden tee. It is fun. I'm actually going to not high tee this. I'm going to just keep a 9.5 degree driver because I'd like to hit some spin on this green, see what happens. Actually didn't need the spin, that's okay. Look at that, wow, that's like the first successful 5 hybrid chip I think I've had in all of my PGA Tour preview videos. That's, that's pretty great. All right, hole nine, nice little par three, under 200 yards, but a high win here for me. Let's see what we can get. All right, 
9 after 13. Almost more of what you'd see on a traditional old school Golden Tee course. Uh, but again, these real courses from the PJ Tour, the TBC courses, um, you know, it's fun to be able to shoot some of these untraditional golf scores. Because this, again, this is a Golden Tee. It will still and always forever will be Golden Tee at its core. Uh, I had the right line. I think I might have hit that too soft. Maybe not. What? What? Oh, come on. I I try not to... I, I mean, I jokingly call my shots, but I, I don't believe that did not fall in. I would like it contested. Somebody check this build. I think it might be broken. That's all right, though. This is Golden Tee, and after so many years of playing it, I should be used to that kind of stuff by now, but it just it hurts sometimes. I'm showing off all these brand new courses that teams worked really hard on over the last couple of years. That's, that's all right. What we're going to do here, I don't do this very often, but we're going to start trying it because it worked one time. I'm going to do a five wood chip. Oh, do it. Oh. I don't ever chip with anything other than the five hybrid. Maybe like 4% of the time I will chip with a three hybrid. I never chip with a wood, but maybe we'll start trying it. That's the fun thing about these TBC courses, whether it was Deer Run, Sawgrass, Boston, or this year's courses, Potomac, uh, Louisiana, and Scottsdale. Um, there's always going to be those like give or take holes where you may not be able to drive it, but you're going to hit it 370, and it's only 420 that a pin. So your chipping game may hopefully get stronger. If you're me, it's probably going to get worse by all the attempts you're going to make. Now, this is actually a good example. Thankfully, I have a 13 mile an hour wind in my face. Um, but if I did not have that wind in my face, the high tee that I did there probably would have blown that ball all the way off the green and then I'd be chipping. Got lucky with that eagle putt. This is actually a pretty decent score. Um, I should maybe quit while I'm ahead. All right, now the question is, do I go it with a high tee three wood, 14 mile an hour wind? Mm -hmm. All right. High T3 what it is. Well, actually looks pretty nice. Come on, left. And with that being said, it is Wednesday. So we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Five days until Golden Tee PGA Tour 2022 updates ship out to the uh, almost 1,500 games out there. Plenty more out shipping from our warehouses now, getting to distributors, getting to operators. Um, one of the things you guys need to know is that while you will have to have a PJ Tour game near you with the free update for operators, oh, that was terrible, terrible chip. Please don't miss the putt. Whew! Putting, I'm still awful at whether it's live or PGA Tour. But, um, courses and new updates ship out next Monday. Start hitting some operators on Tuesday. And then, two weeks after that, updates ship on May 31st. I can't believe I'm literally saying the words May 31st already, and it's not. Realistically, not that far away. This is a fun hole because you have a bit of a mismatched, uh, kind of hilly area right be before the green which is why I reluctantly put roll on that uh, tee shot because I wanted to be able to use that kind of offset hill to my advantage hoping maybe it would kick to the left but still got the eagle putt and that's all that matters all right hole 17 this nice short par three winds blowing out at your back but you got to be careful because the pin is close to the water there we may not actually ever record a preview video again because this is probably the best score I've shot, sadly, in a long time on a video, but also on a PGA Tour course. All right, then we've got hole 18. It's massively long. Well, it's not massively long, but when you got a 15 mile an hour wind in your face, it makes it a little difficult. There's going to be times where you can chip on uh, at this hole. I'm going to try it because it's a preview video. Why not? It was worth a shot. And there you have it. 
18 hole preview of TPC Potomac at Avenel Farms in Maryland, not far from the nation's capital. This is one of the many courses that is going to be coming as part of Golden Tee PGA Tour 2022 and our time release schedule. Make sure you're going to GoldenTee.com and following us on social media at Golden Tee. Download the GT PGA Tour Caddy, find a game near you, and we will see you guys next time in the Golden Tee Lounge with more 2022 content coming soon.